Hey, hey, it's Iman here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an order form where people are going to be able to enter their credit card straight away as a one step checkout page. So basically what you're seeing is exactly that. They're going to arrive on a page. They'll put their name, their email, coupon if there is an option for that, and their card number, expiration, PayPal. We will not even do the order bump and then just a purchase. So I'm going to show you how to design that straight away in system IO. First of all, you're going to be in your funnel pages, hover to websites, sales funnels, and choose the funnel. This is just a practice funnel. You're going to click on add step. We're going to call this checkout page, one step checkout demo. Now you can start from scratch or you can choose a specific template. In this case, just for demonstration purposes, I'll actually start from scratch, even though there is plenty of templates you can actually choose from. It's actually going to be a lot easier that way for you, but I'm just going to start from scratch just for demonstration purposes. So you can see what are important elements. So we're going to click on save. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit. It's going to take us to this section right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a section inside the section. We've got a row. Now, what I like to do is on this section, we're going to make this medium to start with. And then there is a few things we're going to need to do. First of all, we are going to want to make this row with the padding 40 like so. And then we're going to want to make this mid as an example. Now there are specific elements that are critical. So the elements that you have to have is obviously a form input and that form input, I'll tell you the value of that is that you can actually choose to have the different name and content and stuff like that. So we're going to choose first name. Now, before I duplicate, I'll show you another little thing that you probably want to do is you want to put a row inside the row and then put the field inside this particular row. Now the padding for this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to field. We're going to make this 20. We're going to make the line height also 20. And then we're going to make the top at zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the row and we're going to make the padding 30. Actually we'll make, we'll make it 20. And then when we duplicate, we're going to duplicate the row like so. So you'll see first name, first name, and then we'll choose last name as well. And then we'll duplicate this row once more. And then we will choose on the field. We will then choose email address. And these are pretty much the mandatory things. You can add an address as well if you want, but it's not actually critical. Some people say they want a phone number. I'm like, why are you going to call them? If you're not, don't even bother. Basically, the next thing you have to have is a payment method. So you're going to drag this in like so. Now, what I suggest you do is again, you're going to duplicate this particular row. You're going to delete this field and in the payment method, you're going to put it inside the row. That way, everything is going to be very consistent with the row being with the correct spacing. So now you can have the PayPal, the credit card, and then you want to add an offer price. So again, what we'll do is we'll duplicate the row. We will delete the payment method, and then we are going to put the offer price like so. So this will basically show the final price of what it is that they are buying. Now we're going to duplicate the row again. We're going to go back to the offer price. We're going to delete it. And then what we will do under it is the payment button, which is this one. So when you drag it in, just make sure that it actually has, it actually falls into the right place. Now, if it doesn't work, like the dragging is not quite working, all you could do also, you could simply click and then it will appear. And then I can just drag it to where I want, which is going to be right here. I'll delete those two things like so. Now you will save it to says validate. So you can actually change the text to sign up to do that. So for example, subscribe to the tech support membership. We can do something like that. For obvious reasons, you can actually can't do different things. Like you can change the font and all that good stuff. With me personally, I really like to do a custom font and then make sure it's actually bold. So that way it's a little bit more like so. Now, in this case, I'm actually going to make it Montserrat and then make it bold. Now you will notice that this is kind of a funny writing. I don't know why it does that, but this is like a little bug, I think. Let me just have a look on what it's going to look on the preview. You see even on the preview, it actually looks totally fine. So I don't know what that's about, but anyway, Anyway, you just have to test what it looks like uh, properly. Now let's just have a look at other options. Let's just go with Lato. Yeah, let's go with Montserrat. Okay, Montserrat, bold. We'll make this even a little bit bigger. Line height. Now the difference between font size and line height is that the font line height is going to create some space between things. Now I typically like to have anywhere between two to max eight on the line height. That's just my personal preference. And then if you want to change the color of the payment as well, 
we can make this in red or in green or whatever you want it to be. So that's also an option. A lot of times I make mine in orange, so I'll just make mine in orange. And another cool thing you could do is you can create a style. So for example, you can have a zoom and you can make the text color black and then background color, let's say white. And then when you actually hover over it, you will see that it will change like so, right? Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm probably not going to play with this too much. I'll probably make the text color black and maybe this one, I'll make it a little bit of a different type of orange. So now it goes like this, okay? So it's still gonna be pretty cool and it's just going to expand. You can play around with the different options because this one is zoom, you could do slide, you could do float, whatever you, you feel like doing. Um, another option is you could do a solid color as well if you want and you can customize all that stuff. I usually don't really do that. And I really like to do a hard shadow on buttons just because I think it looks better that way. Okay, so that is the different options. So you have to have first name, you want to have last name, you want to have email, and then you wanna have the payment method. Now this is gonna be a placeholder. You have to set up the price elsewhere. Now, when you click on save changes, this is essentially your payment section. Now, what's cool about the way I've done this is you can see that you can actually create something like this. So let's say we'll make this uh, pink and you can make it like so as an example, or we'll make it orange, you'll make it a little bit lighter, okay? Like so. And then on the section, you can make it so it's also smaller if you wanna make it that way. And now you can put the background with whatever you wish. You could put a background color or a background image or whatever you feel like, okay? So that's how I do my uh, payment stuff. Now let's just have a look as well to make sure if I haven't missed anything, I think we've pretty much got everything right. So that's pretty much it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually uh, save this section and put it in the description of this video. So you, with one click, it can be added to your account in case you like what I created right here. Now with the font, I am going to make this then font Montserrat. That way everything is going to customize and there you go. Okay, so that's what that's how you can get when you do the customization on the font right here, it will actually change everything basically. Okay, now let's just have a look here. So this is where you want to customize the SEO as well. I've got a different tutorial on that. And yep, that's pretty much it. So that's how you create a one page checkout basically where somebody could just enter the details and you will notice that it will automatically populate the space for them to enter their credit card details and all that stuff. Now, if you wanted to have this background to be white, let's make this row white. There you go. That's how you would do that basically. So in this case, this is really interesting because in this case, what you want to do is with the row, you're going to want to make this zero and then you want to make the margins 20. That way it's going to be the other way like so. So let me just refresh. Have a look again. And now you'll see that the credit card details is going to be background with white. So that the difference is very simple, is that the row here is the same color. It's transparent, right? You'll see it's transparent, but the color here, because I cannot customize the color inside this, I have to customize the color inside the row, basically. So that's why this is important. I can also make it red, I can make it black, I can make it whatever I want, right? So that's all customizable. In this case, also I'm going to make it white, but this is how you can play with that. Okay. So the understanding of playing with the row, and if you can't see the row, you just click here and hover over the row and you'll see the margins will make it zero. And then it's the spacing is off. If we do padding, then it's the white is around it and it looks kind of funny. And that's why we switch it. So margins is basically the spacing on the outside. Padding is on the spacing on the inside of a specific element. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you get value from this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. If you've got another question for me, comment below with your question. I'll record a tutorial for you as well. Cheers. I'll speak to you soon.